What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name is Michael Roman. Now as we all sit here all day in eager anticipation of the Spider-Man 3 trailer that we might actually get revealed at a mystery panel tonight at CCXP, make sure to check back at the channel between 5 and 6 p.m. If it's released, of course, we'll break it down. We actually got another update about a different Disney Plus series in the Falcon in the Winter Soldier from none other than Emily Van Camp herself, letting us know that we might get it next year earlier than we thought. We're going to break down exactly what she said in her most recent interview regarding the release date for the Falcon in the Winter Soldier, when we can expect to see it in 2021, and then I'm going to weigh in with my thoughts and annotate it just a little bit, considering what we already know about the Marvel Phase 4 slate and the release for WandaVision. Like I said, we're going to break it all down and the Falcon and Winter Soldier release date update. But first, if you could grab the subscribe button, we're still giving away an insane one-fourth scale Beta Ray Bill, our third and final Infinity Saga box set, and of course now, a PlayStation 5. Yes, we have it in hand at Everything Always Headquarters. We're going to give this away at 800000 So if you want to be entered to win, all you have to do, hit the subscribe button, then hit the notification bell, leave a like and a comment on this video. And if you want, stick around at the end of the video. We'll get into all the giveaway stuff again there. So the actress who plays Sharon Carter, Emily Van Camp, was recently on a podcast, Stock Talk number 26. This was translated originally by The Direct as re-reported by comicbook.com. And when asked about the release date for 2021's A Falcon and the Winter Soldier, this is what she had to say. The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, I don't think they have a release date because we had to come back and finish filming after lockdown. They're done filming, so they're probably almost done editing at this point, hopefully beginning of the year. And The Resident is starting up in January as well, so there might be a lot of me come January. Now, she seems pretty confident. She mentioned January twice, and she also said the beginning of the year, even though she knows there's no release date. Two things to keep in mind. The first of which is that WandaVision doesn't start up until January 13th, and there's no way that they're running these shows concurrently. Even though this is a very recent interview, she might not have been aware that they already moved WandaVision to January 16th. So best case scenario, they start Falcon and the Winter Soldier a week or two after WandaVision finishes. If it's six episodes, that would take us to the beginning of March, but not so fast because if it's already March and this show is supposed to come out after Black Widow, there's a chance that they would just hold on for another 30 or 60 days, push Black Widow out theatrically the way they said they would, and of course on Disney Plus at the same time the way I said they would almost a year ago when COVID hit in the first place and it turns out Warner Brothers must have watched my videos because that's exactly what they did with Wonder Woman and then the next 17 projects. Of course you just put them in the theaters and out on Disney Plus or your streaming service at the same time which for Disney Plus Marvel Studios and Falcon and the Winter Soldier means they're going to be waiting again for the same reason they wouldn't run Falcon the brand new series out concurrently with WandaVision. If you have Black Widow your first Marvel movie going to Disney Plus you're not going to want to run that new show concurrently anyway, you're going to wait to try to collect as many subscribers as you can and then put Falcon and the Winter Soldier out after Black Widow the way it was meant to originally come in the Phase 4 slate, meaning that what's ever written in both scripts doesn't have to be redone. The earliest this show could possibly come out without overriding either of these two releases is somewhere around May or June, which I think is a super safe bet. And there's one more reason for this, that they're still on track to release a couple more shows during 2021, Loki maybe being one of them. You have Miss Marvel and Hawkeye. And on top of that, you've got the What If show, which we haven't heard anything about recently. If they have any plans on trying to push all of these or even three or four of these out during 2021, they're going to have to slate them at different quarters throughout the year. May or June would be the last month they could get in quarter two for Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Again, not running it concurrently with WandaVision and Black Widow, but still pushing it out in the beginning of the year. So even though Emily Van Camp wishful there thinking that there'll be a lot of her in January, they're not going to run that show on top of WandaVision. We know we're getting that first, and as close as that's going to take us to Black Widow, we'll probably get it sometime after that in the very late spring or early summer. You can go ahead and mark my words, Falcon and the Winter Soldier, May or June release date. Guys, let me know all your thoughts down below. First of all, do you have any problem with my logic? I've been following this every day for the better part of two years, knowing what's already happened with the movement, knowing how these are supposed to work together. I think that's a very safe bet and puts me within a 60 day window for a release date next year, especially given this most recent interview. And it's awesome news to hear from Emily Van Camp that they are indeed finished filming, production is done. Now all they have to do is finish the editing, stamp it, and put it out. And for a bunch of Marvel fans like us who have been waiting now well over a year to get our next release, man, 2021 promises to be absolutely insane. Let me know all your thoughts down below and quickly, Let's get into the giveaway stuff before I let you go. All right, we're still giving away the insane one-fourth scale Beta Ray Bill. 
and the third and final Infinity Saga box set, regardless of subscriber count, at the end of this month. We're also giving away our next PlayStation 5 at 800,000 subscribers. If you want to be entered to win any of these prizes or any of the future prizes we announce here at the channel, all the same rules will always apply. Hit the subscribe button because you need to be a subscriber here at the channel and then leave a comment down below on this video because it's truly random. The more videos you comment on, the better chance you have of winning. Then hit the notification bell with notifications turned on to keep up with the content and of course, as always, smash that like button. My name is Michael Roman. You can find me over on Instagram at IamFires or over on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash Novellin. There are links down in the description to both. Thanks for checking out the channel, guys, and stick around. We will be posting again real, real soon.